dimensions. I kind of helped sketch out the glass doors. Really wanted to bring you something that I wanted for my house, quite frankly. And we did it for you in four different color choices because I was really trying to hit what I feel are sort of the four colors and looks that, that most people have in their home. So the color that you have here is a white. It is a true white, it's not a cream. It's not too optic of a white. It's almost a nice chalk white. The only assembly for this piece is simply to screw on the legs. I'm gonna show you coming up how I've used it in my beach house and I didn't even put the legs on it. I just wanna show you on the inside, you have two shelves here. So, you know, it's nice for storage. It's nice for stacking. I wanted to give you something that was beautiful, but that also wasn't too um, deep so that you could put it in narrower and tight spaces. This is only 12 inches front to back. It could go in a laundry room. It can go in a hallway. We've used it as a mini console table. Let me show you the other colors. I don't know if you can swing around and see this one, but this is the black. And I did the black because I know a lot of you do the Pottery Barn look, and I wanted something that would tie in with those pieces that you might have. Or you kind of like this because sometimes these black looks go with some of the colonial looks and things you're doing. So I wanted to give you black. It's always a nice compliment to a big old farm table. You could store, you know, small pieces of china and teacups and things in there. So there there's your black. Here's the one that I have in our little condo down at the shore. And if you read my blog on Fridays called Friday Favorites, two weeks ago, I showed you our makeover, um, how I started with what I had and how I transformed it. So here you can see up against that wall, there is this exact console. I did not put the legs on in mine, and it's perfect. Although, you know, I have a lot of teak and, you know, bluestone and driftwood floors at the beach, I really liked this sort of subtle, and I don't know how close you can get here, but there's this cool kind of um, distressed texture to the gray that made it feel kind of beachy. I love the glass cutouts, um, and we're using this for games, cards, you know, uh, books, those kinds of things down at the beach, but I loved it so much I didn't design it for that space, but it ended up working perfect. And then finally, the last color that I wanna show you is this absolutely gorgeous teal. And the teal, funny enough, I'm gonna grab one of the Today's Special Values, goes really well with our Today's Special Value in the slate. So if you're picking up this slate today's special value, we did coral and the, the white here and the larger one, but you know, if you like these kind of turquoise colors, um, it's not too peacock. This is more of like a vintage kind of a, a color, a robin's egg blue. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, just so you know, this is the first time we're presenting it on five payments of easy pay. So it makes it really affordable. Mine was shipped to me. It was packaged like a dream. Tons of styrofoam molded, fitted all the way around it. It will take you longer to unpack it than it will to screw on those legs. And like I said, I didn't even use the legs. I just kind of liked it as a flat, solid piece right where I placed it. But if you do put the legs on, it'll give you a couple extra inches of height. So the only assembly is putting the legs on. I have fewer than 100 to go around in each color. This is not the kind of item that we usually reorder. Like I design these pieces, we feature them, and then I move on and design more. So I was so happy that we could bring it to you in this show because I don't know a family, a home, an apartment, a studio, a loft, a ginormous house, a retirement home that doesn't need just a little more storage. And for me, I want storage to be beautiful. If I'm gonna put out a piece of furniture, there has to be more function to it than just a table. It has to look great. The finishing has to be beautifully done. There has to be storage for me, me to be able to put things away. I like this because my idea was it can go in a bathroom, it can go in a hallway, it can go in a bedroom, it could be a console table behind a sofa, it could be something for a smaller TV. I think once you get it at home, and, and one, of our, um, one of my Facebook friends actually posted a picture, she ordered it after she saw it in my beach house, and she um, said, oh my gosh, Jill, it's so great, I love everything about it. So I hope you'll give it a try, especially before it does sell out. It measures, by the way, 32 inches wide, 